Hi, I'm Ramona J. Smith, Toastmasters International 2018 World Champion of Public Speaking. I'm here to share some tips to help you feel more confident when you deliver a speech. I know firsthand that speaking in front of an audience is one of the most demanding situations you can face. Yet, I'm one of millions of people who Toastmasters has helped gain the confidence to communicate in all circumstances. We'll review some time-tested techniques to help you prepare so that you feel empowered. When you incorporate these five crucial tips as you plan and deliver your next speech, you have an easier time and your audience will get more out of the experience. One, know your subject. Now, if you want to overcome nervousness, the first guideline is simply to know what you're talking about. You'll have an easier time giving a speech on a subject if you know the subject well. Want to speak about your favorite musician? Read verified information about them that you can find online or at your library. When you become an authority on your topic, the audience will want to learn what they can from you. And you won't have to struggle to keep your messages straight if you know the message well. Once you've mastered your topic, you need to master your presentation. Make sure you rehearse the entire speech so you will be more comfortable presenting it. And practice any difficult parts repeatedly until they flow smoothly. Whether or not you memorize each word, you should make sure you know the order of your messages. That's why new Toastmasters members begin with the icebreaker speech. It's a chance to talk about the subject you know best, yourself. Then, all you have to focus on is practicing how well you tell your story. Two, know your audience and your space. Understand the importance of knowing who will be listening to you and where you will be when you give your presentation. Both the audience and location can create limitations that are important to understand. For example, a researcher might speak about the math behind their work. If they're addressing a group of college professors, they could use highly technical language to discuss a sophisticated project. But would they want to do that if they were describing their work to a group of elementary students? Of course not. For young kids, it would be better to talk about how we learn through the research process. Knowing your audience means understanding and respecting their particular characteristics. Before you prepare your speech, their geography, politics, culture, age, and other traits will define them as a group and will guide you in tailoring your presentation to fit their needs. Preparation reaches beyond understanding your audience. You need to also consider how they will experience your speech. For example, when you present to an in-person audience, be sure to check out your location before the event begins. Will there be enough space on stage for everything you need? If you're planning to use any media that requires a monitor or a screen, is the venue aware? Do they have everything you require? If your presentation will be online or hybrid, have you learned everything you need to know about the app you will use? Can you access chat? Will it be turned off or will someone else facilitate that feature for you? All these questions are important to answer before you start your presentation. Three, keep going. There's no need to apologize if you make a minor mistake, such as skipping a portion of your speech or forgetting a few words. If something like this happens, don't worry. Your audience most likely doesn't know the difference. Just move on and you'll find your way back on track with your next point. If you apologize, you call attention to the mistake, which takes away the important point you want to make. 
An advanced speaker knows how to guide the audience's attention toward the important parts and away from the small stuff. Whether you make a mistake or not, just remember that people want you to succeed. And because of that, they're rooting for you. It helps to remember this with the next tip. Four, imagine yourself giving a great speech. A great way to find success is to visualize it. Give yourself time for this important form of preparation. See yourself making clear, valid points with appropriate gestures and body language that emotionally connects you with your audience. Once you see yourself using what works, you'll feel more relaxed and confident. And don't forget to imagine pausing while your audience applauds wildly. Five, focus on your message, not on yourself. Some beginning speakers let their nervousness win because they make the mistake of focusing entirely on themselves. When something goes wrong, for example, your reaction can cause your voice to shake. Then all you hear is a shaky voice that becomes the focus of your thoughts. Remember, you're giving a talk for a reason. Keep that reason in mind and focus on what's really important, your message. Find the passion to entertain, educate, inspire, or motivate your audience and you'll find a purpose and your voice.